It's like the rainforest. And lucky. And about all this. whole school has been working on all year mm -hmm. and it's being displayed for, as a jungle and I'm so thankful that um, Miss Annie um, did this and she's in our old class because she's the best art teacher I can have these are a bunch of chameleons me and my classmate first we would start by sketching them then we would draw them on well we sketched them on a whiteboard, and then we drew them on paper. And then we colored them in, and then we did it with watercolors. Stand right underneath yours and tell us which one it is. It's that one right there in the top right. Top right. Yep. Excellent. I don't think it's very good looking. Oh, I think it's amazing. Now, look around. Tell me what you, how you feel about this art. I think it looks pretty cool. I like what they've done with the place. Yeah, it adds more color. Definitely. And the sounds I heard earlier. I don't exactly know where that came from. I think they're hidden. Hello. Hi. I'm Anna Roberts. And I'm McCoy Reeves. What is this? Well, how did you make um, well, I think it was Switzen designed it as the Tree of Life. What? Tree of Life? Mm -hmm. From I think it was just some a jungle tree. From a myth. From um, the Lion King. And because she went, she told us the story of she went to Walt Disney World and saw the Lion King and the tree and possibly even the little shell too. Rainforest Cafe, which I think is in the library or something. So what is this made out of? Paper mache with paper basically mache paste and a big long tube. Okay. Actually, I think it was like three 
big long tubes. Three big long tubes and some newspapers. Yeah, paper mache newspapers. And then we painted the tree in TEC. And then she kind of put moss and Possibly all that. some almost chalk. Yeah, it, it looks weird. But looks it looks different. good. Yeah. How long did it take you guys to paint this? Um, um, over probably like at least three like months to two. for we us to just to paint it it took okay. about 45 minutes mm -hmm. it took an hour yeah maybe. can you tell us about the leaves that are hanging um we do not know we did not much do the leaves you didn't do the leaves we only painted so, the tree so a different class did the leaves uh, yes i think miss witten might have even cut the leaves what about the snakes <laughs> Um, the we did not do that. actually. The fifth graders did the snakes. The fifth graders did? Did you pair up? No, we did them on our own. Okay. So I'm like, I can kind of see some names from people. Okay. Honestly, I don't really like the snakes. I think there are way too many. So you did not make a snake? No, I would not have ever made a snake. Tell us about the base of it. Is there anything um, you can tell us about? the trunk of the tree? Well, all we can say is that we painted it. I okay. did some paper mache and tape. And okay. What did you think when you walked in this morning and you, wow. you saw all of your artwork work put I together? Thought, I thought, what the heck is going on? Did you think you were walking into a jungle? Not necessarily. I thought kind I was of. walking Sort of. Like, I knew it was the school because, like, tile and the all, all, and doors. Walls, doors. Obviously. Well but what about all but the artwork on the wall? It did kind of make you feel like you were in a jungle it, or something. It felt like, it, it kind of felt like you were in a zombie movie because civilization was not a thing. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to point out? Uh, yes. I just now noticed these little spiders there as well. Mm -hmm. I wonder who made those. I think they're ants, actually. I don't know. Because they're heard heard little leaves. Miss sure. Annie told me that another grade made those. Thank you very much. Um, we appreciate your time. I bet you would do.